Good morning, folks, and welcome back to the channel. It's the start of a new week. I hope you had nice weekends wherever you are on the globe listening to this video. I hope you've got your morning drinks or your evening beverage wherever you're tuning in. Now, we've got a really positive start to the week, and this is what seems like out of the ordinary for a lot of people. And I've seen the argument of the declining one year chart. I respect it very heavily. But this is out of the ordinary right now. The technical meters that are available, all of the metric systems are moving to buy. Different things are happening on the chart. We're going to be going over that a little bit this morning just to get the week going. But we're trending. We're seeing good stuff, right? And the community are seeing that the power is being put back in their hands. That's then moving outwards into the external groups and ultimately, right? We need to save money as a blockchain. And if we can do that, we can afford better things. We can uh, we can afford more advanced development into these intricate systems that become more self-serving, right? So we don't ever need to worry or ever rely on anyone or wonder, are they going to take this away if they don't get paid? Because I get the argument, right? Nothing's free forever. That's silly. That's like kind of I don't know what it would be like. It's like committing to something, but not really committing to it. It's, it's really an unforetold situation. But what we do know is, is that infrastructure is going to remain through all nodes. And we should utilize it to our benefit to build up a community pool. It's the smart thing to do. And a lot of people are waking up and realizing this, and it looks good. Right? There's a lot of people speaking up on this, and there's so many different people, right? I see the same thing. Oh, people need to work together, this, that, and the other. There are so many of us working together behind the scenes. So many of us, you know, Frag, Natty Pat, so many different communities working together behind the scenes. We've always worked together to try help each other as best as we can. A lot of people buried the hatchets a long time ago. And I, I think the history remains and what people perceive is what people have portrayed of themselves. So without further ado, let's move over to the chart. I think this is really important. So I've got this on a micro scale. What we're looking at though, because I'm zoomed out, it's on an hourly candle. So each candle represents an hour. And as you can see, we're going all the way back to uh, July 4th back here. And the reason why I'm focusing on this is because we are in the stage of a breakout and it is a good breakout it is a very healthy breakout and we've got good the what's backing this is the sentiment i believe and the the idea of community going and getting control back and simply saying no we're not going to fund you we're going to utilize what is free and i think people are getting excited you know a lot of people have left this community because of the mischievous behavior and that stigma remains and it's always going to remain and i think that is a big issue and it's something that's kind of, I think a lot of these people that do get paid, they think it's personal. They think it's like just one person thinks this, but it's not a lot of the time. And no one's ever provided an option, which is for all intent and purposes free. And if the community did choose to fund them and I'm specifically saying, no, we shouldn't fund any of them. But if we did, it's still 50% cheaper than what Hexagon are offering. And it's at what point do we look at this as a business perspective? And I think this is being recognized. I think we're being listened to. The articles are starting to come up. The signs are starting to show. And this is what we want to see. There's real good news. And like I was saying, it looks good on the chart. And the reason why I'm saying this is and why this is such an important stage is you can see this huge drop here. OK, around this area here, we've seen a huge drop and we came down relatively quick. OK, when that happens, because we've come down so fast, we have the opportunity to also move up really fast. And you're going to sit and you're going to say, well, what's the possibility of, of this happening? A lot of people use the FIB tool. I don't like to do that. I like to look at the sentiment of the chain and what's actually driving investors to possibly get reinvolved, dip their toe back in, swaps whatever they're doing to get involved, to send these different technical meters upwards, you can clearly see, okay, we've got a line of resistance. So if I take a trend line, we can see this line of resistance across here. We can see many times we've tried to break out recently, once, twice, three times, four times. 
So four times we've tried to break out, we've come back down. And each time recently, you can see there's a big cup and handle, which is starting to um, show on this chart. And we can call this a cup and handle because of the size of the chart that we are looking at and the scale. So if you were to take a cup and dip it down inside it, you would simply see this kind of shape. You can Google it, you can get the pattern. This is a good sign, right? All of the things are pointing to we're on the right road as a community because ultimately we've gone through such a bad time of just these consistent payouts that lead to nothing where they dump the price anyway because they're, they're the only ones realistically selling out bulk amounts of coins. A lot of people are just hodling. A lot of people are just staking their coins. It's so, 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 so important right now that if we do break past this point, the possibility the possibilities of us just simply going all the way up and looking to get into this area again of the uh, 8,000 points per coin. I know I've taken the zeros off. That's how we're going to be doing it. I'm not going to be throwing in all of the zeros. So we're looking at 8,000 points per coin. Now, I set in my last video a target on the low end of 5,500 points per coin and a high end target of 6,500 points per coin. And we are sitting on that higher target. We are very close to it. Like I said, if we can get out of this area, the likelihood is we're gonna come up to this area. And if we can get good sentiment, for example, say the funding does get halted and <clears throat> we can start looking to hire developers. Now, some people think, well, that's gonna halt development, Jay. You know, it's not going to be good for the price, but I beg to differ because of the sentiment that gets driven around new developers coming on board, us KYCing people, doing all the right things, self-regulating, because the response from that, from mass media, going out into external forces, simply is look at the professionality of these teams. We know how quickly sentiment can change. We know how many people forgave DK, and ultimately we can all move forwards, but everybody needs to understand that we all need to give. We can't all keep taking. And that much is so obvious right now because as it stands, <laughs> long pause there, as it stands, like I was saying, if we take this out and we put it on a year chart, you know, it doesn't look good. I mean, it doesn't look good like this, but it doesn't look good. You know, we really are down here and you can you can see it very well on a chart like this let me get rid of my pencil and bring this over you can see it really well on a chart like this because really simple just two candles showing you that we are as low as we've really been a lot of people like i was saying looking at this long chart and going oh it was barely a breakout but this is how breakouts start this is how sentiment begins this is how speculation begins to drive its way back into the blockchain we're a very fast we're a very dynamic blockchain we've got a lot to offer and i think something that's heavily underrated currently is the abilities of being able to create ibc communications between all of the other blockchains that are available and getting ourselves listed on these chains and specific because everyone's like yeah let's go off chain let's do this off chain this off chain let's get on this cx we're on most of the major cx's it's at this point we need to work on the cosmos we need to work with our neighbors and what i believe is, is getting lunc as in many places as possible as a gas fee coin right? Because it's so cheap. You know, for example, someone could accumulate quite a lot of this and then use it for gas transactions in the future. And I don't know, people plan out weird things when you pro when you build things, you provide them to people, they always use them in different ways that you think they would use them. And I think it's a lot of food for thought. And I think, like I said, it's a lot of stuff that's heavily underrated. And a lot of people, they don't pay enough attention to the on-chain sector and making us stable, getting us really to blossom so then instead of trying to go to the outside and, and saying, hey, look, we're a really good chain. We've got this. We've got that. We've got, you know, let's provide results. Let's do what we said we were going to do. Let's get things done because that's the way you drive sentiment. People get excited. They want to see these things. If people get excited about SHIB possibly being put on a Red Bull can back last two summers ago, it's those simple sentiment things that drive things. And all we can do as a community is best adapt to the situations that are put in front of us. There's a lot of people that may not agree with some of the things that I've done in the past or, the, you know, the way that I voted and stuff like that. But I've only ever got this blockchain's best interests at heart. I'll never seek a payment. Definitely not for myself. I would never. It's, it's just one of those ones like 
I've been here so long now, and after all of the influencers left, after the money's dried up, nodes are dropping out, we're still here, and we're still building, we're still helping people build behind the scenes. There was a recent issue that, I'm not going to name the person, I'm not going to name anything about them, but they had an issue with a, something that they built, and they were going to sell it because it had broken because of the recent update, and it was going to be very damaging to them. And they just wanted to cut their losses, and they offered it to us, and you know, we said to them, well, you know, you're a validator on this chain. You shouldn't be in this situation of updates breaking your things and you're not actually able to fix them. And we're in a situation where the technology we're utilizing is experimental. And we need to be very respective of people that are not as understanding as we are and that everybody's on a learning curve. So it doesn't matter what stage you're at. You should never have a condescending attitude to someone else that you can't teach them something. It doesn't always need to be aggressive if it makes sense. Try and educate someone instead of just dunking on them, so to speak. But, you know, instead of simply just going, yeah, well, we'll pay you $50 for it and that's the best you're going to get or go somewhere else. Instead, we said, we'll help you. Let's fix it for free. Let's get you back online. Let's get you sorted. Let's get you to where you need to be. It's those things in the validating community that are so, 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 so important. And there was a lot of people calling things out recently with the most recent upgrade that all nodes was an absolute star with. They were there to help everybody. And some people were saying, you know, HTC wasn't there. And it's like, I deal with so many different things behind the scenes. And I knew what was going on. I run my own node myself. I definitely don't have it running with all nodes. I can tell you that much for certain. Um, those days are long gone for this community. Um, but it was an issue with memory. So the normal amount somebody needs to run a node is 64 gigabytes of RAM. You actually need around 128 gigabytes of RAM now to be able to upgrade to Columbus 5 every time they go for an upgrade because there's so much bloat now on on this and that's the idea of them wanting to go to columbus 6 but that's all for another video further down the line for now i think things are looking really good like i was saying there's a lot of people who are this attitude of oh you know it's still really low and we're still at a really bad point this is a good sign okay this is a really good sign because up until this point it's just been down 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 we've never really seen any good signs or anything that's really saying to us hey this is a community coin and hey, this is what you actually invested in. And and hey, they are going to respect us and things are going to get done. That's so, so, so important. I'm going to be doing a video on things to do with the United Vision because we've already knocked a few of those things off, specifically the endpoints on there, which is point three. And that was the whole point of what I've done recently with gathering the information about what all nodes provide that was us knocking that out. So that solution is there and it's it's down to the community to now decide and that's the beauty of this blockchain is it's a decentralized decision between the community and validators. You can go and veto your validators vote simply by voting yourself, um, which most of you know at this point. I don't know why people keep making a thing of it, but I thought I should mention it. Um, but it's, I'm very happy and I'm very fortunate for all of us that are still here, still remaining and still standing strong. This is a very positive sign on the charts. As you can see, we've got previous channels where we've tried to break out. We've come down a little bit and all of a sudden. If the bad actors on chain would have you believe is that everything that was currently being done right now is bad for the chain and I'm a bad person. This is going to have bad results and we're not seeing that. We're seeing positive results and. Some people will go in and they'll, and they'll look, they'll zoom in real close and say, oh, you know, what? Well, it's, it's going down, it's dumping. But if you look at the bigger picture, you get trend lines in there, you start to see an image develop and you can better understand what is actually going on. So what I'm thinking here is hopefully, hopefully we save money this quarter. We save money, we get the paper milestone system in place, the dynamic commission lands, things start to become better and we start to move upwards as a community after a year and four months, I think five months of just sheer oppression, payment after payment after payment after price dump after price dump after price dump. I think this is so important for validators to actually start doing more in the community and it's so easy to abstain from something, isn't it? And just act as if you, you know, this whole idea of playing ignorance and 
I've seen a lot of arguments about removing the abstain button and I, I'm kind of mixed on it. Let me know what you fakes think. Stay safe, stay humble, stay aware. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one. Ciao. Thank you.